Phthalates have done a great job at taking the world by storm in 2014 in both the high and the mid-tiered sector, and today we see more offerings for the U.S. by companies like ZTE. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now here at CES 2015 with our hands on the ZTE Grand X Max Plus. The Grand X Max Plus is the company's spec update to the Grand X Max that we saw announced back in October, also for Cricut Wireless. It's not only a mouthful to pronounce, but also a commanding device to hold because of its dimensions. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, as the device shares almost the same dimensions as the Galaxy Note 4, but is half an ounce lighter. Its curved design at the top and the bottom contribute to a very futuristic look and feel, and when you match that with the glass elements of its exterior, it's hard to deny that this is a very elegant looking phablet. The device sports a 6-inch 720p LCD powered by a quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigs of expandable storage, up to an additional 32 gigs through microSD. It supports 4G LTE connectivity and features a 3200 mAh battery that supports Qualcomm's new Quick Charge 1.0 technology. The device also sports a 13 megapixel primary camera in addition to a 5 megapixel front-facing camera with a wide-angle lens for selfie shots. Now, even with the low resolution of such a large display, its great color reproduction actually does a good job at improving your experience when you use the device at a first glance. You'll also notice that the display fades itself as it sinks in the top and the bottom bezels. It's a very neat design element. The Grand X Max Plus runs Android 4.4.4 KitKat under ZTE's proprietary UI, and so far, the device seems to handle basics tasks very well. Now, all this said, what you really care about is that the Grand X Max Plus retails for a crazy $199 on Cricut, no strings attached. A very aggressive price point for a device that sports better specifications and a better design than most mid-tiered smartphones in the market at the moment. We're already wrapping up our coverage of CES 2015, but we've got a ton of reviews of all the products that we saw coming soon to Pocket Now. Make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow us on Twitter and the link's in the description. Representing Hayato Huseman, Michael Fisher, and Jaime Rivera, thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next one.